dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I encourage you to please subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much and welcome on board. Many months after traders were relocated from Abakli Kiss main markets to the international markets, Demolition of structures of the Abakliki main market has commenced to pave way for a new city in Abakliki metropolis. The Abakpa main market situated at the heart of Abakliki metropolis was established as early as 1972. However, the market at a point became overpopulated. This made the previous administrations of Ebony State to propose relocating their markets. Based on that, the past administration of Martin Elechi in the state commenced the construction of the international market along the Abakliki and Ogoja Highway. After commissioning it, the traders refused to move to the international markets. Many of them had complained of the non-completion of some sections of the market. Governor David Umahi came in 2015 and gave the international market a facelift by demolishing most of the structures at the market and turning them to upstairs. Following this, the government issued a quick notice to the traders at the Abakpa main market and ordered them to relocate to the international market. The traders, however, refused to relocate to the international market. Some of them even approached the court to challenge the government. This caused crisis between the traders and the government. The traders later lost in court and they finally relocated to the international market after many refusals and litigations. The traders relocated to the international market on the 1st of March in this year. Some of the traders had opposed the eviction by the state government, which they said has thrown them into untold hardship. But their arguments did not hold water. Following recent outcry by residents of the state and security intelligence reports on the activities of the hoodlums who hide in the shops to rob people of the unsuspecting members of the public, when the traders relocated to the international market, the state government decided to demolish the structures and change the face of the environment. The government is planning to construct an estate at the defunct Abakaliki main market. The estate, when completed, will have a mini vegetable market and relaxation centers. About 500 housing units will be constructed in the defunct Abakaliki main market. Emmanuel Uzo, special assistant to the governor, David Umahi on fruit and vegetable market development, and supervising special assistant on the capital city, poultry and estate development, while speaking during the demolition of the market, said, We are in the defunct Abakpa market, one of the biggest markets in Ebony State that was before the advent of the international market. This Abakpa used to be a major market where commodities are being sold. It was a market conceived by our forefathers even before the creation of Ebony State. So, it was, market, it was a market formed by our elite traders in those days who saw the potential of making good business in the urban area. But what happened is that those our forefathers who brought the market from Nkaleke people it was a land inhabited and being cultivated by the easy people who got the land by trade by butter. 
They had a small market then, but along the line, Adol Awam was the local government chairman who came and seized that, seized there was a need to develop the market from the original owners who were trading on the land. So, he now built the structure. We are now demolition in a modern way and leased it to traders. So what we did when a boy state was created, the market was already in existence before the master plan. So along the line in the master plan, it falls inside the residential area that successive administrations felt it was very difficult to move the market. But when the present administration came on board, there was nothing impossible and there was already an alternative to the traders. That is the international market. So that made it, made it easy for the government to relocate the traders to the modern facility that is the international market. It was a battle that the first administration fought and lost. The second administration fought it and lost. And this administration came fought and won. So the secret is because there was an alternative, the international market. The traders had no difficulty in moving. So when they moved it now, so when they moved it, it now became necessary for the government to pull the structure down and put it into another use. After the demolition of the market structures, the government plans to build a relaxation center, vegetable market, among other things. The relaxation center had been in the master plan of Ebony State. The next phase, we are going to have two things to do here. To do here. We are going to build a recreational park where we will have a cinema hall, a 90 game, and other sweet things that will make life meaningful for the residents of this area. We are going to have a very big estate here for low-income earners. It's going to be built by the state government for our people to look and live in it. It will have all the facilities, road, constant light, police post. It will have a clinic, small food market where we will will be selling food stuff for people around here. Uzo said, with the movement of this market, we expect all the buildings that were used for commercial purposes to return back to residential. They turned it to commercial because of the proximity to the market. But now that the market is no more here, they are expected to go back to residential. Nobody went to court because the building belongs to the government. What happened is that there was a lease on some of them and the lease expired in 2013. So in 2003, some in 2003, but what they do or did, they kept on renewing the lease. But part of the agreement in the lease was that government has right to take back the land whenever they want for whatever developmental purposes. Some of them who went to court that time didn't go to court because they were dragging the property. They went to court because they felt the ejection was not favorable to them. After the enumeration, we will do the integrity test of all the buildings that are around here, privately owned. What we do is if we check the building and it passes the integrity test, we will tell the owner to see the master plan. It's either you model your you remodel your building to what we are doing, or you can sell to somebody who will do that. It's going to be business for them. But those ones that are unpardonable, we are going to revoke the land and pull it down, Uzo said. He further explained that to make life easy, the state government had to fix the prices of the shops to avoid unnecessary exploitation from the landlords. There were measures we put in place to cushion the impact of the demolition. To move from your landlord's house to your own house is always difficult. 
We put measures in place at a time. We said, move anywhere you see space, occupy at least for the period of six months. And if nobody comes, it becomes yours. All you need to do is to stay there. They stay there. We document you. If you have the money, you pay it because it becomes your own. But if you don't have money and one day somebody came or comes and say, I'm your landlord, we fixed price for them. There is a uniform price, and that was why they moved out and got shops. Some of them are the owners of the shops, and some are tenants. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this massive development? Well, please drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.